this is the James Webb super high definition I actually got the the highest resolution possible off the net so we could actually zoom in we could actually zoom in this is on a 3090 let's see let's go a little let's go inch by inch kind of thing This is as clear as I can get it. Took a while to download this too. So. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a star thing. Wow. Some of that stuff is way out there. Chunk it way out there. No, I die. Ya. Actually, I'll show you where I'm from. Uh, let's see. Where am I from? Um, uh, where am I from? Chuck your nutball! I know. I'm right here. This is my home. It's called Adelphia Galaxy. That's where I'm from. Chuck, yeah. Try to find that again. Uh, I knew it. Actually, let's look at this here. Wow, galaxy, galaxy. These are probably stars. It's probably a galaxy. Probably every little point of light there is galaxy. I wish I could have got the, there's a resolution higher than this, but they're not releasing that yet. That's the best I can do for what I got. Right, let's go on the very bottom. Let's take a look. Maybe we'll find ET. I could zoom right in as far as I can zoom. These are stars. Well, there's two two stars there. Side by side, or one's further back. That's weird. Yeah, these two galaxies. Yeah, once, once back. So this galaxy is probably lensing. This galaxy looks like this is bent a little bit. Wow. individual little pixels my hand is a pixel basically see I was trying to get the resolution higher from what they gave me I had to download it and I had to wait from the real Biden or release the image first basically to order to get it so you're getting it probably on the same day I was released
This is a uh, see there's something huge right here. So what happens is there's gravitational lensing. That's what this is. It's taking all these galaxies and kind of bubbling them around. You know what I mean? So there's something huge right here. There's a galaxy or something right here. It's lensing it. See that? What's this over here? See another that has the edge of a lens. Well, it's incredible actually when you think about it. We're just little. We're nobodies. You know, you gotta think that. See, here's my, this might sound really crazy, but here's my, this is my uh, uh, explanation of the universe. See, the, what you're looking at here is an image of a grain of sand at a arm's length out. I think all life on Earth and everything uh, is all connected by light. Uh, some galaxies are near, some galaxies are past us. Some galaxies are further away, uh, with the light maybe not reaching us. These are these distant galaxies right here. You see, our lives to happen kind of thing. I don't. All life forms are controlled by the galaxies. So say one galaxy is a life form. So say, how can I explain this the way I see it? So say this galaxy right here is uh, is a huge galaxy, right? When you look at the whole picture, or say this one, it's really clear up here. Say this one's uh, this one's somebody's life, and everything connected in that life. Every little every little thing hanging off that life. Say mites on your skin to everything, and each star is like a, is like a, a life in itself, kind of connected to that life. And we're all interconnected by light because light all over the universe. So this is like a this is like a life nearby is uh, so say somebody other's life that's interconnected because the light's so close. You know what I mean? No, Chuck, I have no plan. Don't worry about it. Anyways, so this is like another life interconnected. So the all this is like a interconnected, or this could be like a somebody's life with all their families and everything intertwined in that and that's how that's all powered you know by energy and you need something like this that big for well what's this here that's weird might be another gravitational lens right here you know what I mean because that's the only thing that makes sense to me that that uh and why all these galaxies exist. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. You know what I mean? How to explain our our galaxy? Each individual life is in our galaxy kind of thing. But we're all interconnected in some way or maybe since I have maybe the Milky Way galaxy is my life because I'm conscious right now you know what I mean uh, I'm sure you could pull coals in the theory but but it's the only thing that makes sense to me where you see all these all these galaxies so far far away long time ago in the galaxy far far away is this where luke came from no i'm gonna call it that's where luke's from that's what that's where it happened okay look at these these ones here that's kind of cool and then the ones that are really faint in the background i wish my resolution was a little higher that's all they gave me still look at the big picture like what's this down here it's 
So that's my theory anyways. And it would make sense because just to power all life in this in our media universe you probably need this much, you know. You think about light and energy. Uh Chuck, I don't understand. Okay, imagine this. Imagine you're living your life right now in this galaxy, in our little planet. And whatever this everything there's power to this say say this is a say this is a bear or no that's probably too big for a bear let's, let's get how i perceive the universe say this is a bear and everything connected to the bear is his immediate around surroundings uh everything that's connected everything he is in touch with and it's immediate right but his light doesn't reach us till now so everything connected with him was 13 billion years ago which his life is just connected to us now right so the bear and the fish and everything that's uh, all powered and the stars around him right there so say the say there's a fish that's uh it's either could be in the galaxy or it could be a next little tiny galaxy like a uh I don't know, like a small like uh, uh, galaxy nearby, but I think uh, all the stars and everything is uh, everything that's connected. Does this sound crazy? I'm gonna open up a root beer and I'm gonna really think what the fuck I'm saying here. That's just the way I always I always thought about the universe and trying to explain why it's there. Uh, it's just there. But there's got to be a reason for it, right? Great, I just spilled root beer. So, uh, say this is Justin Bieber, and everything's surrounded. His family's all in there. Everything is, and then here is uh, somebody right next door. Uh, maybe his mom. You know what I mean? Maybe this is his dad, and this is all interconnected. And since since his life's happening and everything right now, and his mom and dad and everything's happening, whether they're alive, I don't even know if they're alive, but uh, all the light from everything that's surrounding him and all the all the stuff that's interconnected in his universe is hitting us right now, right? So now he's connected to us. And if you don't think it's connected, well, on the Sun, on the night sky you just look up and chances are he's connecting to us and then the light of our Sun who's illuminating our planet uh, all the starlight in the world is hitting us at the same time right so that that all means you're alive so you're if I'm right your life is connect is one of these galaxies out here right that's all interconnected with our Milky Way kind of thing so say you're you're maybe you're 60 years old and you're watching this right now this is you you know what i mean where somebody uh is younger somebody younger would be a bigger closer galaxy so to speak right which would be one of these and all the life forms so each every every star inside this galaxy every little mite on your body every little little energy forming life form is trillions of them and they're all in this galaxy and they're and you are uh, powered by all of it you know what I mean and all this light from this galaxy is hitting right now which is is all the life forms and everything that's interconnected with you uh, appears here around me you know what i mean but you could be across well think about this say you're across the uh, globe somewhere and i don't even know you don't you know what i mean but your light's hitting so now i'm looking maybe your life and my life is interconnected right or each one could be a life form in itself with all its little intricacies intricacies cut you know what I mean what I'm trying to say all interconnected see I can't see this over here actually maybe if I 
I tried to make it bigger, but it didn't work. Well, that's my crazy thought anyways. It's the only thing that makes sense to me in this world. Uh, or, or every single thing that's on our planet has to be connected to each one of these, you know what I mean? That's your individual life. And each and one of these this is you and every star everything in there is all inter everything that's connected with you is connected in there and is connected with me you know what I mean does it make sense do we even upload this video or maybe we just a uh, random rock and the universe and the Milky Way and we just have to have a whole bunch of water uh, air and we're just floating around on ships and flying around and we're just walking around like we're nothing and all this is just something else out there that, that they have their own problems you know what I mean there's a whole civilization out there we don't know but it's so freaking far away it's there and there's probably so many things between here and there that's floating around out there and in the main between here and there that we couldn't possibly get there because we'd probably run into it and, and it would never happen right or my theory's right ah. uh where was i living again uh, where? where was i living again where's my home Oh, there was my home right there. Chuck, I don't think that was where it was before. No, it is just some... Oh, yeah. 